So after just one run, one cycle of this distiller, you can see what's left behind. You can see the residue around the heating element. And if you didn't know any better, you would be drinking this. back with another great video today I'm going to tell you about this item I just ordered now I did a video a couple years ago talking about water and when I recorded that video I was living in Washington State and I read on the front page of the newspaper how the fish in the Puget Sound were testing positive for recreational drugs birth control pills all types of prescriptions and that made me think like oh my gosh I don't want to put that in my body and I also had a video talking about natural forms of birth control. You can also click to find that or click to watch that up there. So I've been trying to find ways to ensure that I had pure water without any unwanted contaminants and things like that. Now also when I lived in the Puget Sound area up in Bremerton, Washington, I lived around airfields, Navy airfields, airports, and there was a report that came out about a product made by 3M and it was being found in well water. Now this product, it's to me known as AFFF. That's how I used it when I was active duty in the Navy. I worked in aviation. And what it is is a foam that's used to extinguish uh, fires on aircraft. And what happens on shore-based areas is that it gets into the water as well as on the aircraft carrier it gets into the water. The problem is, is that once it gets into the groundwater it cannot be removed resulting in like cancers and different things that happen to the body. You can read more about that. I'll put an article in the description. So one thing I, I maintain is that where, no matter where I live, I will not drink municipal drinking water. I unfortunately have to use it to wash, wash my dishes, comes in through my laundry, also in my showers. I want to give a shout out to Dr. Mona Harrison and how I became aware of all this stuff is some of the work and lectures that she did as well. I'll put one here as a card and then I'll put the rest of her work in the description and she talked about how just nasty our water is. Right now we have some things with droughts and you know with these cyber hacks there was something that happened in Florida where a town was almost evacuated because of a cyber security breach at the city's water treatment plant. I take this serious as well as Flint and their water crisis up there. Initially I had invested in this item here. This is a stovetop distiller. So I picked up that just in case, you know, I lost power. I can put it on top of a grill or build a fire pit and put that in there. It's going to take some time, but I will be able to get some clean water after a while. However, um, that's my worst case scenario. Then I started um, using the Primo water uh, filling stations at the Walmart. But lugging all these, you know, three gallon, you know, jugs and stuff like that. It became a bit tiresome, but you know, that adds up. So I went ahead and I invested in this here. This is a, a countertop water distiller. And I will let you know that it is by Pure Water. It's a mini classic CT. It's 120 volts. And um, in about three hours, it gives me roughly just under a gallon of distilled water. And because, you know, my household is relatively small and most have about three or four people here at a time, but I try to maintain that I have a gallon of water per person per day. All right, so this for three hours, 24 hours in a day, you can add up how many uh, gallons it would give me. And it will also save, save money. So I estimate with my um, energy costs right now, this will roughly cost me about 28 to 32 cents just to run this, which is cheaper than getting my car, my time to go fill up at the water station, bring that back, pay for it. I believe uh, to refill these, it is... I think it's about 50 cents a gallon I'm not for sure but if you go and buy a, a gallon of water like this right here I buy these at Dollar Tree this is a dollar for a gallon okay and like I said a gallon per person per day also there's this big thing we have to look into and be aware of it's called microplastics okay I try to stay away from buying items in plastics because these microplastics there was an article that just came out that said we consume about I think a credit card worth of plastic I forgot the frequency, but these microplastics in our system will become a problem, as well as these additives and things that we cannot get out of our, our city water. Think about it. 
think about this, okay? If someone is taking drugs, rather be recreational or prescription, think of meth, weed, cocaine, high blood pressure pills, birth control pills, medicines, oh that's not, not, not kind to say, but you know, all types of birth control and things like that, it, it's in their body, they have to pee, they have to urinate. Guess what, it gets flushed down the toilet. So if their urine is testing positive and their body is getting rid of these drugs through their urine and it's going down your toilet into the system and you know the city cannot get that out, guess where it's gonna end up? In you, okay? So I highly suggest that you look into getting some kind of you know pure water filtration system in your home. We're gonna go ahead and unbox this after all of my talking and we're gonna check this out, okay? the lid so after you're done collecting your water you can just put your, your lid on and put it in the fridge or do what you're gonna do with it and here is one um, carbon um, charcoal filter as well as replacement o-rings okay and this is the tray where the element sits okay inside of here We have a notice with a QR code so that we can um, we can find out some more information. So this is the the element where you will put in the water that you want to boil. And what this is, it has the plug outlet on the back. It's going to connect to that plug in the back, which is your power source. So your heating element. Your heating element is in here, okay? It kind of looks like the inside of an air fryer or a deep fryer. This is your heating element that's going to boil the water, and then the steam will be produced, and then that's what is going to collect over into your um, your your glass pitcher. So to get started with this, we are going to go ahead and clean out uh, the areas, and then to start my first pot of water first uh, container of water this produced is not to drink so I want to distill it you know get everything running through it's take about three hours and uh, it will be ready before I go to sleep it's 8 p.m. right now I can get this going by 8 30 it'll be done by the time I go to sleep and then I could uh, have it going overnight and I'll have water for in the morning okay so I'm gonna work that out and I'll be right back and one thing I always say to do when you purchase something that's really high value, make sure you fill out your warranty card immediately, make a copy or scan it, and then get it sent in because you're going to forget. So go ahead and print up that copy of your receipt, get it sent in, and I'll talk to you at the end if you're worried about the cost. We'll talk about that in a little bit, okay? hit start cycle the fan is on and this is relatively quiet it's not loud at all so it is 818 so just to be done in three hours and we'll have water collecting and I'll check it throughout the cycle in addition to the distiller I purchased um, water distiller uh, descaler and cleaner because I know the different things is going to burn off and remain at the bottom of this distiller is going to be disgusting so I want to show you the utensil uh, drain pan from my dish rack I'm not sure if I showed y'all my dish rack before but I'll leave in the comments because that area is a little I move everything around so but this is what was collected so after I washed my utensils run under the sink I put them in the drying rack and there they drain into this pan here so this is what is left over like this is what comes out of the water let me see if I can turn my camera this is what collects 
in my utensil drain pan. This is from water and all types of other stuff. But yeah, if you notice, like people's dish pan is always nasty. That little drain plate, it's always nasty. This is the stuff that comes out of the water. Also, um, whenever I go out of town and I don't flush my toilet till I come back, I have this, this disgusting ring in my toilet bowl. This is all the stuff that is in our water. And if you're not getting it out, it's building up in your body. This is disgusting. So it is 8.50 and we have our first water coming through the distiller. So this is pretty cool. It, does, it did not take that long. Surface, you know, it says caution. It's a little hot, but it is actually cool to the touch. It's actually cool. So don't try this on yours, okay? Didn't even come blame me like, Taisha, I done burnt off all of my fingerprints like I did with the uh, Instant Pot, okay? So yeah, I like this. Here we are. It's actually the next day. I did not stay up long enough to uh, wait until the cycle was over. But this is how much water I got from this tank on the inside. This tank here provided me almost a full jug full of water. So to get the uh, filter element ready to go, I'm going to show you what to do. So after you have your, your first distilled gallon of water, what you want to do is take your filter and put that into the water. And you want to get it soaked. And it says to leave it in for about a minute. Then this here is the tray where that element will sit. And I wanted to get a little bit of practice with putting this in. Pretty easy. So I saw some comments on um, Amazon reviews and stuff like that where how do you get the get it out? How do you put this in? And it's pretty self-explanatory. It's like when you used to have an easy bake oven and you put the little cooking tray in there. Just like that. So I'm going to leave this in here for about a minute and I'm going to refill the boiling chamber with more water so I can officially start my first batch of drinking water. And as a safety feature, not all of the water um, leaves the boiling chamber and this is a safety mechanism to keep this area safe. Before I empty and refill this, I want to give you a look inside the boiling chamber. So after just one run, one cycle of this distiller, you can see what's left behind. You can see the residue around the heating element. Ignore the corners because that's where this was soldered, this little box was soldered together. However, you can see what is left behind. And if you didn't know any better, you would be drinking this. So I highly, highly, highly suggest you get some kind of water distillation, filtration, reverse osmosis system. And yeah, this is this is crazy. This is what is in your body and it accumulates and just causes all types of problems down the road. Go ahead and empty this, refill it up, and I'm pretty sure, you know, as I continue to make batches of water, this is gonna get worse and worse and that's why I bought that descaling um, and distiller cleaner to clean. So now that the filter has, has soaked, it is ready to be placed in the tray. And when I put that, there we go. And when I put this in my house plants, and these are the ones that I will not eat. <laughs> these are not the edible house plants. So I'm gonna just dump it in there. And it's a whole hell of a lot better than the tap water I've been putting in there. And that's why I've been getting brown leaves on my plants as well. So make sure you use distilled on your plants and for yourself, okay?
this is actually really really good you don't taste any bad aftertaste and because I've been drinking distilled water or spring water exclusively for the past few years I really dislike or I can tell when restaurants give me tap water so what I do is I bring my own I have my hydro flask or my tumblers I bring my own water on the east coast of Georgia Savannah Brunswick you can taste the sulfur in the water it tastes like rotten eggs I absolutely hate it I do not drink the water and it smells bad too and you can definitely tell you can taste the difference once you become accustomed to drinking pure water I wanted to stress the importance of you know what I'm trying to push this video is you got to take control over what you put in your body cooking at home your water so um, I actually saved this copy of Time magazine I took this memory ticket the library in Hawaii was going to discard this so I went ahead and I collected this and this was the front page of the time when Flint Michigan water was poisoned a majority black city poisoned by lead and I think as of now in 2021 no one has has been held accountable for this nor have you know the residents been you know compensated for this so this don't think that this cannot happen to you. Also, uh, like I said recently, there was a town in Florida that was nearly evacuated because of a cyber breach of the city's water treatment. I'll put that link, I can't quote it entirely because it's been a little while since I read it, but make sure you check it out. But don't think that this can't happen to you. Someone that uh, inspired me to really take control of my water if I wanted to take control of my health is Mrs. Annette Larkins. That's out of Miami. She is the raw food vegan. I believe she may be closer to 80. And this has been, you know, her fountain of youth, her secret to the fountain of youth. I have uh, both of her books. This is Journey to Health 2. I also have Journey to Health 1. She's the one who got me using wheatgrass. I'll put that card up here. I've been using wheatgrass since about 2017. And yeah, taking control of my water, we got to do something about it. So shout out to Miss Annette Larkin. She also autographed my book. So make sure you check it out. I'll leave links for her as well. And also to her channel, she has cookbooks. Pick that up. Even if you, you know, you don't want to go full raw vegan, I'm not. You know, I just made you know, uh, uh, turkey pepperoni flatbread pizza a couple hours ago. So, you know, just take control and take these small steps. I want to see my 100th birthday and I want you to So I highly suggest you go pick this up. Let me know if you got it. Real quick, you may uh, think to yourself, like, how could I afford this? This system here, it cost me about the same price of a new gun. <laughs> but, uh, you know, you can opt to have payments, okay? If you sign up for a Amazon rewards credit card, you can break break down your payments over a matter of months interest free. So that can be another way that you uh, break down your payments, but this is definitely an asset to your life. It's definitely well worth it, okay? Don't, don't skip, don't delay, don't opt out. You need water, so get rid of that thirst. Get you this, take care of yourself and your family, okay? And your body will thank you in the long run. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you on the next video.